how to color your gray scales properly using gradient maps that is something we will be discussing in today's video coming up but before starting off with the video i just wanted to announce that i have already created my own art discord server many of you were actually asking for it so if you want to join it there will be a link in the description as well as there will be a pinned comment and it will take you straight to my discord server so yeah with that said let's get started with the video i'm assuming that you have already watched the previous video the first part where we discussed about how you can set up krita or photoshop in order to make gray skills just like this one but still if you haven't seen that video as always there will be a link in the description you can check it over there in case you have watched my previous video you can see i have made some changes in my layers the most obvious change is that i have divided the character portrait into separate layers like i have added a separate one for my eyes my chest scale and even for my teeny tiny earrings so the different elements of the portrait which have different colors are separated in their own different and separate layers now the reason i actually did it is something we will be discussing later on as we move further with our coloring process other than that i have used this multiply layer for coloring my gray scale the way i have seen other artists doing it as you can see it's just a multiply layer with all the flat colors on it as i turn back the layer mode from your multiply layer to my normal layer you can see all of these flat colors even more clearly we have a beige color for the skin green for the chest and kind of brown color for our hair now the reason i don't recommend using this basic multiply layer for coloring your line art is because it will make your shadows as well as highlights look dull and kind of muddy to be very fair take this area on the face as an example the shadows over here are totally muddy the coloring over here is rich everything over here kind of looks dull and toned down and if you want to fix it manually using the same method what you have to do is you have to actually change a lot in your gray scale and to be very fair it's not worth it and this problem in particular gives gray scale method its bad name and why most of the artists just don't simply use it but there is a quick method using which you can fix all of these dull coloring problems and for that we'll be using the gradient maps now for making your gradient maps first thing you will need is a gradient color and there are two ways of making your gradients the first one is by going to the top panel over here and you can see a bunch of gradients already created by krita they are basically defaults now you can create your own one or edit the already existing one for example let us just take this orange green one and we will be using it for our chest area we will be coloring it green so in here the right side will affect the highlights the brighter colors and the left side will affect our the darker colors so for this case we will be changing the color yellow to a much more darker bluish or cyan color whereas the orange color will be replaced to a light greenish sort of color the light green will be for the highlights now in order to add these gradient maps to your individual gray scale layers what you can do is you can just go to that layer that particular gray scale layer you want the gradient map for right click and add a filter mask in the filter mask tab just go search for your gradient maps and add a gradient map and as you do it the option for your gradient maps will appear from here just go select the choose gradient preset option select any gradient you want to use or edit from but since we want to create the skin color right now we will be editing the gradient a little bit so as i said before the right side will determine the highlights whereas the left side will determine the shadows the best part about this process or the workflow is that the scope of flexibility is just unlimited you can just edit as much as you can without actually destroying the original draft using the same technique we will be coloring our chest as well as the hair area but just keep one thing in mind that whenever you are choosing your highlights and shadows try to change the hue for example if you go with the green color for your chest area as i did don't pick up a green color for our shadows and the reason why we are not using dark green is that it will just recreate the same problem of dull shadows and highlights that we faced while working with our multiply layer instead just use a dark bluish or cyan color as i did so as i said whenever you are shifting between your highlights and shadows just simply don't use a darker or a lighter version of the same color just try to shift the hue a little and you will instantly see how big of a difference it actually makes so yeah this is it for today's video as i said if you are interested in joining the discord server there will be an invitation link in the description as well as the pinned comment we can connect over there have a chat and all the kind of cool stuff apart from that if you are interested in digital art and creator related stuff you can subscribe you can turn on the notification you can comment down if you have any video ideas comments or suggestions i'll see you guys next time until then Peace.